Hello, folks. We are live. This is the final day of the Prodigy Team Star League. I am joined by Ask Joshy. I'm Cats Pajamas. How's it going, Josh? It's going great, man. I cannot wait for these last few series of the 2v2 tournament Prodigy Team Star League. We're already in a lobby. Like, we're not wasting any time today. We've already got EG Axlav, Complexity Cats, Complexity Druby on the other side, and Strife Crow is just pending, and any moment now he'll be joining the lobby as well. And we'll be ready to get started here for the last day. Oh, yes, we will. I'm going to go ahead and get our overlay set up as well. We are now in 2v2 mode. That is generally beneficial when you're casting a 2v2 tournament. Sometimes. Yes. But our first match of the day, if you didn't know, it's the winner's bracket finals between Team EG and Assassins. Assassins are made up of Complexity Cats and Complexity Drooby. They are a very, very respected 2v2 team, as are Axelab and Strife Crow. So these guys have met recently in the past for the EG Masters Cup series. Axelab saying that Strife Crow is scared to join the lobby because the Assassins actually did win their matchup in that uh, other tournament that has a just a small 2v2 component. This one, of course, is a 2v2 tournament, so they're going to have to win every step of the way to get that $750 first prize. And, of course, uh, cast throwing out that that is absolutely standard. So let's see here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump through a few links as well. I'm not sure what color Stripe Crow is going to be, so we'll leave that blank for a second. But just so you guys know, all of the social media links for the Prodigy Team Star League are up on the screen, so please do give them a follow. Twitter.com slash Prodigy TSL, uh, Facebook.com slash Prodigy Team Star League, YouTube.com slash Prodigy TSL, or WellPlayed.org slash PTSL. So uh, that's where you can find all of them. And also, we want to give a big shout out and thanks to everyone who has helped organize this tournament or been involved in some way, shape, or form. Uh, everyone over at the PTSL, first of all, and Alan for putting this together. Complexity Stake, uh, aka Style Life, from ComplexityGaming.com. Yes, he did lend his support uh, greatly to the creation of this league. Jake Frink at WarpPrism.com, he was the one who set up this awesome viewing environment where you can actually bounce between the player views and player chats and Skype, things like that. Josh Folland, also known as Icy Cup Prodigy, for putting up most of these maps. We are indeed playing on one of his maps right away, Icy Cup Citadel of Gaia. You can find him at twitter.com slash prodigysc. Akaya for doing our overlay. You can find him at bit.ly slash alphacaster. Adabizian Wombat for covering for us yesterday when we weren't available. And also Justin TV. They featured us on the front page yesterday. We got a ton of viewers. Hopefully that happens again today. I agree. And if you didn't know, I'm Ask Joshi and the other guy who just did all those other uh, Shoutouts is Cat's Pajamas. We're casting actually at the same computer here in Cat's Pajamas apartment hmm. in sunny San Francisco, or at least bright San Francisco. It's I'm not sure yes. how hot it is. Can't say today. it's like warm San Francisco, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> lukewarm San Francisco. So Strife Crow, Cat's is saying Strife Crow, change color, please. I'm wondering why. Ah, uh, because Cat's wants yellow, I believe. But Strife Crow's light blue. Oh wait. Uh, Axlav. Oh, well, Axlav is what he wants. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know why he's requesting that. Now I'd be confused. <laughs> Cats had plenty of time. Oh, is Axlav going to play Terran? Yes, he is. He actually was uh, earlier in the tournament as well. Okay. And they locked in their races before the tournament began, so he's going to be Terran for the remainder. All right, there we are. So, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and get things started momentarily. Glad you guys have decided to tune in. This is going to be the winner's bracket finals, first of all. Let's see. I hope we're live on Team Liquid as an event. Also, uh, feel free to go ahead and tweet about this. Yeah, let everyone you know, everyone that you're friends with on Twitter and Facebook or anywhere else, go bump the Team Liquid thread, say hi on Reddit, wherever you frequent. Let people know that this is actually starting now because we're starting with the winner's final, not the grand final, but the winner's final. Neither of these teams has dropped a set yet, and I believe this set is actually a best of... This is a best of five. Winners bracket finals and losers bracket finals are going to be best of fives. The final finals um, are going to be best of seven. And in the event that the lower bracket team that enters the grand finals does win that first best of seven, we'll have to play another one because it's a double elimination. It wouldn't be fair if he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true, as a matter of fact. Yes, and our overlay has decided to go away on us again. Scoreboard there. It likes doing there. that. Why is it... 
they change colors again. Cats is light blue now. Cats is now light <laughs> blue? Okay, good to know. So I can actually switch that. On the other monitor, because we're on dual monitors today, so... Yay, Strife Cross yellow, Axelove is red. Axelove <laughs> is red. Oh, They all swapped colors right at the is end. Is Druby still blue? Yes. Thank you, Druby. You're mannered. That's why Katz was requesting light blue, even though he had plenty of time to change before Strife Crow actually entered the lobby. They just want both blues. Assassins, very blue team. I suppose. They have no reason to be blue uh, because they're winning. I'm blue. If I was green, I would die. But here we go. We have E.G. Axlav as the red Terran. This is a little bit of a departure for his normal Protoss play, but I guess in 2v2, Zerg Terran is actually probably the best setup since we've seen Still very low APM, so far today <laughs> and so far yesterday. Axlav at Red Terran, his teammate, is going to be EG Strifecrow. He is the yellow Zerg down on the bottom left. Over on the other side, we do have Complexity Cats as the light blue Zerg, and his teammate, as always, is going to be Complexity Druby as the blue Terran. And I was told this morning that we have an update on this map. Actually, maybe not this map. I believe it was Deconstructed. Yes. Okay, so Deconstructed was fixed. There was an issue where there were bases on both sides of the map that uh, the Vespine Geyser was not working properly, couldn't actually harvest any gas from it, but uh, that is fixed now for today's games. And it looks like right away our Terran player, Axlov, it's going to be hard for me to say that, just bear with me in case I say Protoss a couple of times. Our Terran player, Axlov, is actually going to wall off the Zerg side of things right away, so he's actually leaving his own side exposed, trying to help out his good buddy with the Supply Depot there to start the game. Uh, Cat's up here, though, he has gone for, wow, that was actually, I, I thought that was going to be at first an Extractor trick when I saw the Extractor going down at 1010 Supply. But that is just an early extractor. Spawning pool coming up after that. Druby, on the other hand, has not done anything super cheesy to start the game. Yeah, and Axlav uh, actually lending buildings to both sides of the ramp. Obviously, Strife Crow is not going to be able to do that until he gets some more creep over there, at least. Uh, he could do some sort of spine crawler wall off, but Axlav actually building a depot on one side, barracks on the other. I'm sure uh, he's probably thought this out enough where both sides could eventually be walled off, but Katz and Druby. Almost every game, Cats did open up with a salvo of six to eight lings, so we'll see if that is going to be the case. That is the reason that he got that gas so early, but it looks like he's already stopped harvesting from it. That extractor was fairly empty just a moment ago, but yes, spawning pool also about to complete here for Strife Crow. Yep, absolutely. Uh, it's about to finish for Strife Crow, and he is expanding. Now, curiously enough, he did decide to put up the gas for his teammate there, so Axlov could go ahead and get that wall down just a little bit faster. There is a factory being put in place here, and we may see another structure to start the wall on the Zerg side of things as well. Indeed, we have another supply depot, so this is going to be a triple supply depot wall on the Zerg side of things. And back on Axelov's side of things, he's just going to have, well, it looks like Hellions are going to start, uh, as we are going to have a factory swap the tech over here with this reactor. Back on Cats and Drupy's side of things, though, they have a couple of links out, but this wasn't, let's see, there were four links there, six links in total. They're just fairly spread apart. So these couple of links are going to make their way up. They're just going to see these links here from Strife Crow doing a little bit of damage, which is kind of nice. Going to chase those away, or at least chase them right back to another set of Zerglings. There they are. Cats just trying to do some extra damage. All the while, Druby going right up to a starport. Yep, Druby is getting that starport up. Axelab doing the same back at his base. I'm not sure where the starport is. There it is. Not actually contributing to that double wall off that he's got going on. But the lings have separated. Katz now has them all combined there. It looks like Strifecrow is just sending one ling to both bases, each base I should say, so that he can check in on them, see what they're building. He's not going to see any roach warren or baneling nest or anything like that out of Katz. And on the other side, I believe he got a good look at all of those tech structures, yes. including the starport. So Strifecrow and Axelab fully aware of what they're opponents are doing. Axelab did not get the Supply Depot finished up, uh, but he does have these Hellions that he could just roll right up there and prevent that from happening. Oh no, Cat's already shown up with more Lings and two Hellions coming from Druby as well. It looks like uh, Team Assassins does have the severe unit advantage at this point. I'm not sure where Strife Crow's units are. It looks like he did get that hatch up a bit faster than Cat's, but that sacrificed uh, several Zerglings that he could have built instead. So right now, these Lings of Cat's just going crazy, trying to kill this Queen off from Strife Pro and lots of drones just huddled up right oh, there. No. Could be a perfect blast from Druby with these Hellions. He's lining up uh, just like, I don't know, bowling or something like that. Bowling for drones. And it looks like finally Axlav 
and Strifecrow do finally handle uh, the bulk of the units. We do still see four Zerglings here running into the SCV line of Axelab. They may score a kill or two before getting handled by Strifecrow's Lings. Actually, Strifecrow doesn't even have Zergling speed finished yet. And it looks like Caps and Dribby are going to roll right back in with yet more Hellions and yet more uh, Zerglings, and they're going to take down the vast majority of the economy here. Uh, here comes Strifecrow with whatever things he has left, but with the Hellion count that's on the field, Druvian and Cats should be able to clean this up, and indeed they are. There's still a few uh, links back here for Cats that are going to take down this hatchery right away. Already we see a very precarious position. Supply suggests just 45 to income. about 70 at the moment. Yes, virtually no income. <laughs> 14 EG. Oh, my. Ugh. Ugh. And that gruesome slaughter of drones occurring at Stripe Pro's main basically seals the deal. Those two lings that are in production now are going to be the last thing he's able to produce. So there's the GG out of Stripe Pro and Axe Lab. Katz and Drewby taking a quick seven and a half minute win here in game one on Icy Cup Citadel of Gaia. And don't forget, guys, that this is a best of five. These are the winners. Yes, the winners bracket finals here from the PTSL. So again, 